On a per application basis, you can now decide whether you want to produce redacted Microsoft Excel documents as images or as XLS files. If you decide to produce Excel documents natively as XLS files, you can now take advantage of a new viewer that presents Excel files almost as they appear in their native application with the power to easily redact privileged information in this easier to review format. The decision whether to use the Excel specific viewer in redaction view should be taken before the start of a review. However, your Open Text Project Manager can help you to move from Brava to the Excel specific viewer after the review started. This will remove any existing Brava conversions and redactions from Microsoft Excel documents. The Excel specific viewer is available for redaction view only. After the administrator has configured the system to use the viewer, conversion for redaction converts Excel documents into the Excel specific viewer format. Redaction view looks different for Excel documents. And there are additional production rules for Excel documents. Please see the Accelerate Help Center for a list of limitations you should know before choosing to use the viewer. To convert Excel files for redaction view with the Excel specific viewer, select the documents that you would like to convert. In the results list toolbar, select Actions, Convert, Reconvert. Select Redactions and Production, and then select All. Select all MIME types as your scope. Under Reconversions, select Reconvert all previously converted documents and convert unconverted documents. Give the job a unique name. Click Convert. The conversion is submitted and you can access its progress on the Administration Jobs page. To access the converted Excel files, under the Production Conversion Smart Filter group, click on the Conversion Smart Filter and select Prepared Excel. Now, let's take a look at a converted Excel file in the Near Native Excel Redaction view. The Excel specific viewer does not display the native file, but a similar format. Some features may be changed or removed. If changes were made during conversion, the Conversion Modifications button is green and contains the checkmark icon. To view the changes, click Conversion Modifications. A table lists the modifications that were made to the Excel document during conversion. Yellow highlights in the table point you to features that are not shown in the redaction view or in the production output, although they are contained in the native file. Scroll down in the window to see the orange section. The orange section mentions the modifications that affect the redaction view, but not the production output. If you think that a missing feature can contain useful information, download the native file for review using the download button. Click the close button to close the window. Pictures or charts are not displayed with the other document content. You see that the document contains graphics if the Graphics button shows the checkmark icon. Click the button to see a list of the pictures and charts contained in the file. To view a graphic, click the respective row. Click Back to List to go back to the list or Close to close the window. Comments are shown by sheet and only for the row range you are viewing. If the Comments button shows the checkmark icon while viewing a sheet, click the button. This opens the Comments and Notes fly-in. Click one of the items listed to jump to the items place in the sheet. If the sheet has more than 100 rows, move to the next range of rows and repeat these steps. 
to move to the next row range, click the Next Rows button. To close the Comments and Notes fly-in, click Comments. A red triangle in a cell indicates that there is a comment or note. To see the comment or note, click the triangle. Click Comments to close the fly-in window. To search the metadata of an Excel spreadsheet, use the Metadata search box. If the hit appears in the metadata, you'll see the metadata icon light up, and you can click on it to review the results. To search within a sheet, use the search box. Type a word and press Enter. Use the arrows to jump through the hits, or click the Show Hits Overview icon to see the hits in context, and click on a line to jump to that sheet and line within the spreadsheet. You can draw redactions for a full sheet, or one or more cells, or just text. Redactions are saved automatically once you draw them. The status icon shows that redactions are being saved. A green icon shows that the redactions are saved. You can switch to the next document while the icon is still shown. If you want to add a specific redaction reason, select it from the redaction reason list before you apply a redaction. If you do not add a redaction reason, the system applies the default redaction reason. To redact cells, click the Redact Cells icon and click the cell that you want to redact. Cell Redaction also redacts comments and notes attached to a cell. To redact more than one cell, click a cell and drag the pointer across the cells that you want to redact. To redact text within a cell, first click the Redact Text icon, and then from within the cell, select the text that you want to redact. If you do not select a redaction reason, the system will add the redaction reason redacted in the production output. To redact a full sheet, click the Redact Sheets icon, and then select the sheet that you want to redact. Alternatively, you could select to redact all sheets. Select a redaction reason, and click Redact. If you redact a sheet that also contains redactions for cells or text, production will only reflect the sheet redaction. If you remove the sheet redaction again, the redactions for cell or text will be produced. If you want to search for a string of text and redact it across the sheet, use the Find and Redact icon and type in the term that you would like to redact. Use the search options to match case, find whole words, or you can search using a regular expression. Select a redaction reason and click Next to apply the redactions. Though the Excel specific viewer displays only 100 rows at a time, the search results window displays results from all of the rows in the sheets. Review the list of terms that will be redacted and click Redact Selected. If you'd like to remove any of these terms from redaction, deselect that row within the table, and then click Redact Selected. You can delete redactions in the Redactions panel. To open the Redactions panel, click the Redactions button. Select a redaction or redactions, and then select the Delete button. Confirm your deletion by clicking Delete Redactions. To close the Redactions panel, click the Redactions button. 
To review all redactions made on an Excel file, click the Redactions button. The redactions appear in the order in which they were applied with the newest on top. Click a redaction to review it in the spreadsheet. To close the Redactions panel, click the Redactions button again. If the Excel Specific Viewer is enabled, Excel Specific Default Production Rules apply. If a production workflow contains redacted Excel documents, those documents are produced as redacted Excel files. If an Excel document does not have any redactions, the document is produced as a native file.